And you heard uh, the allegations there. The Justice Department strongly disputes allegations of rendition, uh, that they were roughed up, as, as he uh, alleges. Uh, of course, this goes against uh, what candidate Obama and early in uh, the president's term uh, talked about uh, looking back to the Bush era, uh, terrorist, uh, the use of uh, anti-terror uh, measures. Uh, take a listen to this. It's time to show the world we're not a country that ships prisoners in the dead of night to be tortured in far off countries. We're not a country that runs prisons which locks people away without ever telling them why they're there or why, what they're charged with. If a person's going to be, um, if there's a rendition taking a person to a place where the possibility is that person might be tortured, um, that's the kind of rendition I think that is, that is inappropriate. So Tucker, a, a lot of the Bush era terror policies are continuing. Really, really remarkable. And he has been especially bloodthirsty with the drones too, uh, as you know. What the most remarkable thing about this is the lack of outcry from the civil libertarian left, which went completely bananas, as you'll recall, during the Bush years, the seven years after 9-11. They have been virtually sound, and not just on the international stuff, but on the domestic stuff, on the spying, the potential spying on American citizens. We know the FBI read private emails between General Petraeus and Paula Broadwell, probably without a warrant. On what grounds? Why is that okay? And more to the point, why is nobody up in arms about it? Kind of a big deal. Gitmo is still open. Uh, FISA was signed. The warrantless wiretap uh, operation, as Tucker mentions, the drone activity is increasing.